My name is Ola Rune. Uh, I work with Klaus & Koivs Rune and uh, we have um, for quite some years been working with Takini, uh, doing several projects. And the relationship between ourselves and Takini is one of the best. We work with a few different manufacturers around the world and Takini is one of our favorites. favorites. We really have a, the best of relationships on a personal level. Yeah, my name is Eero Koivista and I'm one third of Stockholm Studio Class and Koivista Rune. Uh, we have been working with Takini for many years now. Uh, this collaboration started with them asking us to do a seating series. Uh, and we did that and along the way uh, we became uh, really good friends and today it's, it's less like a less like a client, more like working with really good friends. We um, had a project, uh, did a hotel here in Stockholm and we developed a project called uh, Misura. So we, we made one design that was possible to make in a small version, a medium version, a large version and an extra large version. And that's the basic idea. Basic concept. Uh, it's one chair in many sizes, identical, so depending on what you needed. From that project, uh, we were asked to, to develop a new um, program of seating. Uh, we did um, a proposal and we named it Montevideo. I think, in my mind, it's um, development of a, a classic uh, sofa, but we made it elegant and with beautiful detailing and uh, the best comfort you can get in the sofa. We also did a series of tables for them called Split, where the idea was that the legs almost touched, so that, like in a cross, but making much more, much more slender profile, which I think became really, really nice and was very, very important that they made it the right way, which of course they did. My favorite project from before with Takini is the Doodle Chair family. We came up with the idea of, um, of a pattern, the kind of pattern that you do uh, when you're speaking on the phone and your hand holds a pen against the paper and you're not really thinking of what you're sketching. It's called a doodle and um, it looks like this, uh, the design, so it becomes sort of random on the chair. So this, this, uh, this idea uh, of uh, stitching uh, became the concept for the for the doodle family. It's a really heavy thread and a heavy stitching machine. It's, it's a sewing machine. They had the Takini had to actually invest into a new sewing machine to to be able to do this this project. But the whole doodle family just became fantastic. It, it's iconic today. The same year uh, as we did doodle, we did two sets of um, Ottomans or poofs for Takini because they wanted us to uh, use the same stitching as we have done with the doodle uh, and to implement it on other products. And we thought um, we could do this on, on the Ottomans so we did one super square uh, uh, deriving from architecture and the, the way architecture is rigid and in, in proportioned in different squares um, and the second one uh, is called uh, spin and it was a round poof and with a beautiful spin around which uh, it was stitching all the way around. Looks very simple but it was, um, too, it was a nightmare for them to understand how to stitch the whole way around and make it beautiful. The High Life Sofa which we did for them came about uh, that we wanted to do something which was kind of um, had like a back you could sit and you were text messaging or laptop or something and you want to feel some privacy. So they did this series of sofas which are of different sizes and, and depths and so on, which have very high backs. And all the backs are high but they are a little bit different. So if you, when, you, when you use many of them in an environment, it becomes a little bit playful and not so rigid. A few years ago we were playing around with the starting with the doodle concept so one of the legs goes through and, and it ends up with a table so you have your own private uh, desk or a side table for your coffee cup or, or for your laptop or whatever you want to, to use it with but it's 
quite interesting to do uh, a chair and a table which is mixed together and you don't need to buy them too. You have, you have it and you, you move the table with you when you move the, move the chair. And that is, has become very popular, in the, in the, not only in the press but also for the sales. Our latest project together with Takini is named Kelly and it is our favorite baby, but your last baby is always your favorite baby, I guess. It is a very kind of playful uh, uh, family. It's very sculptural, it's very inspired by art, an artist's work and play with form and shapes. So we said, how about that we make a series which from the beginning is kind of look similar but look very different, like brothers or sisters or something. And they had this idea of very, very pure forms, but kind of weird in the proportions. So we started doing all these little models, you know, like chairs with equally big backrests or you know, seats, and these round, friendly forms. And slightly strange, uh, but friendly. We talked very much about that they should be friendly and, uh, and nice and not, not too snobbish, kind of. So we do these three different uh, characters and they're all called uh, Kelly. And uh, because we think they are uh, working together in the way of, of, of uh, design, the design of the, the chairs.